Hello YouTubers! Today is I'm DevTest F2 and I'm happy to give you a PS Vita gameplay of you know it, Jack and Daxter collection. The best game in the whole entire world that I've ever played. Now I'm sorry about this video um being so late. I just couldn't get off of it. And I was away, so I couldn't get it on Thursday. So I couldn't just publish a video on Thursday or Wednesday. But here I am today. Well, right now. Anyway. And the song track is actually different too. That's the starting of it. It, look, it feels just like a collection, I'd say. Now, let's just start it up. But I'm gonna show every single gameplay. And sadly, network features will be turned off when you play a game. That's not really a bonus in the game. It's more like a letdown. Okay, so for starters, about the frame rate. Shit in Jack and Daxter collection. The. Well, you know. PS Vita. It's way better than Lazy Vita gaming. The color is exact. Now, just to warn you that there is not a lot of frame rate jobs, and it's not really choppy at all. People were lying. Or they expected it. Now, I'm not really complete this game, but I have completed the Jack and Daxter collection for... Oh, here we go. See, do you see any frame rate jobs? Well, here there is a little bit, but look. There was no frame rate jobs, I'm telling you, my screen. I play this game and everything. Let's go to Geyser Rock. Sorry, Paris X instead of Circle. Look at his legs, okay? Okay, the problem with this game is that the you'll get used to this though. It like slow down for Jack and Daxter. Only Jack and Daxter precursor collection. Precursor legacy. Well, um, you might not be able to understand this because you won't. But it's really hard to get used to at first. And the fisherman level is br brutal. If you ever play that level. Okay, it's in the jungle. Second, go down the, go under the bridge. The second bridge, you made it. And, God, it's so scary. No, there's no firmware drops with eco. I've tested it. Don't worry. Now, if you're imagining about getting this or wanting to know if you should get it, it's a, it's a real good game. Okay. Now, I don't care, I don't give a shit if someone says there's a lot of frame rate drops. There is not! I played this whole, almost whole entire game. There was like, almost zero. They made a good collection. The demo was worth shit, okay? The demo was a shitty one. You can see this, let me just enhance the video. Yeah, there you go. Now the sound must might be off because I'm recording this on a different device. But look, you can still see far off into the distance, thank god. And it's actually pretty damn good. Sorry I'm a little bit better playing this because I'm recording this so as you can tell, it's not the best quality. But it does tell you how it is. Now look. The lighting... I mean, like, the song can get a little bit glitchy. And you could get an error if you try to do one of the glitches, if you know what I mean by that. 
But I have not seen any frame rate drops, I swear. Just one or two. But that was that geyser, but that was that lava canyon where I'm stuck on right now. And actually, when there is slowdown, it could actually save your ass on Jack 3. Because, yes, there is actually slowdowns on that game. Oh, yeah, and this could be the future of the touchpad. Okay, in the back touchpad, there's four squares, like this screen. Four squares. This is Dark Eco. This is status. But on Jack 1, this is status. This will be Abraham Zoomer. Well, not, I mean, jet board. And this will be the first person mode of the game. What does this mean? I guess you'll have to check out for yourself. But this video isn't really long, it's just showing you what this game has. So, see you guys later on the next video. Next, I'll be showing you Jack 2. I swear. There is like almost no frame rate drops because that's the smoothest game for some reason, okay? See you then.